What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of My Call to the Wild. Today we're going to show you how to create a clove hitch. The clove hitch is a very, very specific uh, knot that is basic to starting off all of your lashings. If you don't have a good rope, it's really hard for you to tie knots. So what we did was, in that first video, we were trying to show you how to properly fuse a rope. That way you could take that rope and then apply it to other projects later on down the line that we're going to show you how to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that rope, the same very rope that we fused a couple weeks ago. See the ends that we fused? We're going to take that rope and then we're going to go ahead and tie a clove hitch with it. I'm going to show you a, separate, a couple different methods. Um, we're going to show you um, on a vertical pole how to tie one. We're going to show you how to uh, use a clove hitch to basically tie up a laundry bag um, that's open on the top. and It starts the process to build a whole bunch of other things that we're going to show you in later videos like uh, towers and things like that that require a lot of wood, um, a lot of structure, um, and so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to take the rope, we're going to take our rope, and we're going to wrap it over the pole. So we start by wrapping it over, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this, this end right here, and we're going to make a cross. Take it up, over, and we're going to cross it. So it's going to look like that. Now we're going to take it back around like this and then we're going to put it through this crossing end. And then we're, what we're going to do is when we have it like this we're going to pull it tight. And then we push the sides in for extra stability. And that right there guys is a clove hitch. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to show it to you again in a fast way. A little bit faster of a motion. Alright guys, so we're going to take the uh, the leader line right here that has the fused end. We're going to wrap it over the post, bring it back around. We're going to keep it on the outside. You've got to keep it on the outside. We're going to swing it around, stick it under, and pull tight. Shape it up, and there you go clove hitch. Now, personally, I like the constrictor knot better because I, I feel that the clove hitch just doesn't do a very good job at staying tight. Um, it will allow you to start your lashing but it's just a lot harder so if you pull right here on the center you can actually rip it right back off real easily. Um, here at the end of the video we'll probably show you how to do a constrictor knot just so you guys are aware how to do it because they're so close and so simple. Um, you basically just make one different turn and you've got a completely different knot. Alright guys so what we got here is we got a log you know big in diameter and we're gonna show you how to basically do it on this log. So, just pretend that it's a log. I know it's not a log, but we're going to start off simple and then we'll just keep making it more complex. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it, we're going to wrap it over, okay? Got to give yourself plenty of slack for these big ones. We're going to wrap it over, we're going to come up, we're going to cross it over, you gotta see that, you gotta see that cross. 
and you're going to bring it back around. Okay. And you're going to put it right back through this line right here. And you're going to pull tight. That right there, guys, is a clove hitch on a. That's a clove hitch on a bigger one. On a bigger branch. So imagine that this is just a bag with no cord. So we have to basically take the bag and we have to cinch it like yay so that we can get it up into the tree and suspend it. So one way we're going to do this is we're going to use the clove hitch again, but this is a different method on how to make the clove hitch. Alright guys, so we're going to take the rope, we're going to rotate it inward, okay? So we're basically just taking, taking this rope and we're wrapping it like this. We're going to take this other end right here and we're going to go the opposite way. So since this one went this way, we're going to take this one and we're going to flip it backwards, like this way. See, one is on top, and one is on bottom. And then from there, we're going to take the two, and we're going to rotate them together. Okay? And then from there, we take this piece, and we're going to put it over the bag, like so, and we're going to take each end and we're going to pull. If both of these lines were longer, you'd be able to take and lift it up and suspend it from a tree. And that right there, guys, is how you can cinch a bag up and suspend it from the ground to keep your food away from animals and bears up in a tree. Alright, so as you can see here, we've got two knots. We have the clove hitch that I showed you guys earlier in the video and what I've done is I've went ahead on the other side of the pole and I've tied the constrictor knot right here. Now as you can see both look very very similar but there are a few differences between the two. If you notice on the clove hitch where the line crosses over the free end gets tucked back under that cross and is out on the same side. Now if you look at the constrictor knot, that same cross that we would have, which is right here, the line is actually taken across the body and tucked back under the end. This is the clove hitch that we originally had, right? So what we're going to do is in order to make a constrictor knot, we're going to take this line back out and all we're going to do is we're going to take the free end, cross it over that main line, and we're going to put it through the middle of the X on both of these lines. So we just grab, we lift up, and we shove right up the middle. Right like that. See how it's going under both of the cross? And then we pull tight and shape up. Now the great thing about this knot is no matter how tight you pull, 
it doesn't come loose. What it does is it actually gets tighter. Especially when you're making towers and things like that, you're going to run into situations where you don't want certain poles to move because the integrity of the weight and things that you can put on that structure is going to depend on how well you did these lashings. Alright guys, well as you can see, none of this stuff is that hard. Uh, you just got to take things step by step and eventually you get the bigger picture. So, um, if you guys want to see more of these videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Make sure you leave a comment down below. We got a whole bigger scope of videos that's going about to come out. Um, fire building, uh, structure building, uh, setting up shelters, uh, fishing, all sorts of stuff. So, make sure you guys stay tuned if you guys want to see more of that stuff. Till next time, keep it wild. We'll catch you later.